हरे कृष्णा द माइंड बर्डन एंड देन डीम्स एज बर्डन दोज हू ऑफर टू रिलीव अवर बर्डन सपोज somebody comes and dumps a huge weight on us normally you say you would feel a little annoyed even angered why do i have to carry such a big weight but suppose uh, we still tolerate and uh, uh, we carry that weight and then seeing us struggling to carry that weight if someone comes and offers us hey let me share this weight i can i'll carry it for you and the person who has dumped that weight on us that person again comes in between and says hey that person just interferes don't don't pay any attention to them then we would really be annoyed with this person what's with you why are you making my life a hell first you burden me and then you don't allow or anyone to unburden me also we would consider such behavior as outrageous and unacceptable unfortunately when our mind does the same behavior we nonchalantly accept it first the mind makes us angry worried irritated uh feel lonely feel depressed so many negative emotions the mind sent subjects us to and those are like burdens for us so we get burdened you know whenever we are worried whenever we are depressed doing even the smallest activity seems difficult it feels as if we are carrying a huge weight on us and the same mind which has burdened us with all those negative emotions when some when somebody who cares for us when those who want to help us they say are you okay can i help you and they want us to open up they want us to talk with them and the mind says uh, the mind says no we given to the mind and no i'm okay i don't want to talk with anyone leave me alone sometimes they're so gruff and rude that uh, people are put off by that more importantly even if we aren't uh even if we don't do this with people in general we def- the mind definitely makes us do it with krishna when negative emotions are burdening us that's the time when krishna if he enters into our consciousness can unburden us uh, as the light of krishna comes into our consciousness the darkness of negativity goes away as krishna lightens our heart but unfortunately the mind starts making us feel that the process of invoking krishna itself is a big burden and thus we refuse to let ourselves be uh, to let ourselves receptively receive krishna and we start thinking oh the process of chanting the holy names or process of hearing about krishna reading about krishna all this is a burden and thus we ruin ourselves because so rather than listening to the mind we need to listen to krishna so uh, such are the tricky ways of the mind no wonder krishna says in the bhagavad gita that 66 bandhatma atmanastasya yenaatmai vaatmana jitah anaatmanastu shatratve varte taatmai va shatrava the mind can be our enemy if it's uncontrolled and we are friend when it's controlled समं पश्यन हि सर्वत्र समवस्थितम् ईश्वरम् नहीनस्त्यात्मनात्मानं ततोयाति परां गतिं when we see that krishna is present in the hearts of everyone and when somebody is offering us help genuinely then it is krishna who is present in their hearts who is offering us help through them and when we gracefully gratefully accept that help then our mind won't be able to Degrade, delude and degrade us. Thank you, Ray Krishna.